Hey everybody, this is Joyce Chow from MBN and News Video Web. We're here with Louisa, and say your last name. Louisa Voisin. I'm looking at these fabulous hats. And okay, you know I love hats all the time. But see, this is not any hat maker. Mm, you've been doing some very fabulous hats. Let's just say for royalty. For royalty. Well, I've been designing for a very long time, and uh, it is certainly my passion. And I've been fortunate enough to train with some of Queen Elizabeth's milliners. And I recently won um, one of the most glamorous hats uh, at the opening day in Del Mar, which is a really big deal. Which I and mean, it was it's a lot really of really big deal, and it was a lot of fun. So I was one of the most glamorous. And then in for the Kentucky Derby last year, I uh, won, and we were in the Kentucky Derby Hall of Fame for a year, and that was really exciting. And the Kentucky, <laughs> I know, it's like, it's just like, okay, if you love hats, she's the queen. <laughs> because, like, because You're a true collector. It's, it's like Kentucky Derby Hall of Fame. For, I mean, oh my gosh. Well, thank you. It's, uh, you know, people ask me, they're like, do you get excited? And I'm like, no, I just keep designing because it's just, it's what I do and it just comes to me and you just keep going. When you love what you do, you just keep doing just, it. Yeah, yeah. You, you really it. don't stop. Because these, so. these are art pieces. Thank they you. Really I appreciate are. that. Yeah. Because as a child, I was told I was an artist. And as you grow older, you don't want to lose that. So to be able to do this and have people say, you're an artist, this, it means the world to me. Oh, it's it, like a big, warm hug. It is. <laughs> this is our work. But also, when I was joking, you know, I was talking about royalty. Now, it's not just a joke because you did do some designs for Kate Middleton. Well, for the I worked with uh, milliners that work for the royal family that designed for them. I personally did not have one of my pieces on her. Oh, but yes. you worked with the milliners. In no, other, yes, in, with the milliners. So guess what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> well, I always make sure you don't want to take credit where credit is not due. Uh -huh. <laughs> and she's very proper about that. In fact, uh, many times when you're a hat, it, it is about being proper. Is it definitely changes a woman's, her whole frame, how she stands, um, especially how she stands. It makes women stand a lot taller and stronger and more confident. It really does bring out the confidence in a lot of women. Yeah. Can you tell us about some of your hats here? Any favorites, any stories that we should know about? Oh, sure. Where would you like to begin? Um, this is a fun one right here. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces because especially for especially for people that might not like to wear a hat this would be considered a fascinator because I put it on a headband and it's very important to me I'm all about the detail and the balance so this was I just simply used a buckram frame underneath and I always have to do something bizarre underneath so I did it in orange um, and then covered it in a really, you know, a really nice silk fabric, and then used the roping as the trim all the way around. And then this is a was a vintage button that I added in here with the pheasant feathers, and then I hand curl all my feathers. Oh, see, beautiful, elegant, classic. This is timeless. Yes. It really, yes. Yeah. And what's fun about this? You can dress it up or you can dress it down. It's you know, it'll go either way. So that's a fun piece. This is a piece that I actually had a gentleman submit my design and then he hand wove all of this for me. And then I did I designed all the trim and put it together. And he has his label inside which he signed and numbered because that's what he does. He hand weaves hats. And then of course I added my label. And this is a beautiful piece. And then of course you, I have to add a rhinestone brooch in the back. <laughs> Of course, a signature. So, uh, yes, absolutely. It has to have that little piece. It has to have a little uh, something, a little quirky at some point. And then this one is interesting. This is the cinema, which comes in the roll, um, a flat roll like fabric. And this is where you would cut it, and you actually you hand shape it. And it's called freeform. And with freeform, you can pretty much do anything you want. And this is a very popular style for for milliners. These are these are absolutely beautiful. And well, of course, thank you. One of, the, one of the ones we have wandering around is the Bonaparte. Yes, yes. the Napoleon. The Napoleon. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, can't get the last. Name. Yeah, you see, you got the last name correct. And then there's one over here I'd like to show you, 
and this one again is uh, Cinéma. And uh, this one I did while I was in France with um, some of the milliners there. And this was just a flat piece of fabric. And you use a, win a vintage wooden head blocks mm -hmm. and you shape it on there. And then once it's dry, then you get to use your trim. And then once again, I used uh, something from the 1940s as a little detail. Well, these are beautiful. These are fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. And of course, if people want to catch up with you on the internet or find your wonderful designs, where do they go? Well, it's louisavoisin.com mm -hmm. and then um, let me think, I have uh, Facebook, Louisa Voisin Millinery or Louisa Voisin mm -hmm. and Twitter and all, I'm sorry I, <laughs> I don't use them yet I don't have time <laughs> Well, she's, she's busy creating pieces of art I do, I work all the time but I love it it's my passion so catch her at Louisa Voisin, it's L-O-U-I-S-A-V-O-I-S-I-N-E.com. Yes. And follow us at Monty Bubbles. Thank you. Thank you. How sweet. Fabulous.